So in this bag, I carry um, quite a bit of items in here. And so I wanna just share with you really briefly. On the outside here, you can see I have a 32 ounce water bottle that's easily secured um, by pulling tight this uh, sort of a uh, strap here, but it's also secured by this Velcro strap and easily accessible. It's a Nalgene uh, single wall, um, a uh, container that I can actually boil water if need be. On the front here, you see there's the logo Maxpedition. But on the side here, you see I carry a tourniquet. I also carry a flashlight and batteries in this compartment. And in the top compartment here, I carry a headlamp a multi-tool, and a more batteries. These things are very uh, important for me because when it comes to lighting, you can't have enough if you're trying to find your way through the darkness. The flashlight in your hand uh, comes in handy at times, but there's times when you're gonna uh, be using your hands for various reasons. And um, so uh, the flashlight or the light on your head, your headlamp is gonna be more practical. Now, um, in this bag, there's a big buckle here and uh, it opens up to the access of everything else. There's a pocket up front here. I keep uh, hand warmers and uh, we do have uh, fall and winter approaching. So I would suggest you get yourselves prepared. In the next pocket here, I have some fire material made by a company called Pro Camp Tech. I call these my Cheeto balls. And then I have uh, some uh, paracord here. And this is just simple 1 8 50 feet of paracord. I'll use for various reasons. I have a uh, fairing rod here. And I have uh, some stormproof matches in here. And uh, you want to have um, a few reasons to make sure that you are uh, covered in the instant you need to get a fire um, started very very important and um, inside this container here I have a drawstring that closes this and allows you to keep water um, off of uh, the products inside now inside of here I have another bag and this holds my um, water filtration okay so it holds um, a few items here and so you can see my water filtration unit is in here. This is very important as well. And I'm going to share a few more things with you folks. Now, in here, in the back here, I have a pair of gloves in case I need to do some sort of working, uh, maybe gathering wood or um, just need a better grip on things. Those things are very important. I also have a uh, straw here for filtration very important in the middle I have um, some smoked uh, salmon um, that uh, lasts until 2027 this is very important because you want a food source and I don't carry much food in this bag it's just something simple and I also carry these by four Patriots these emergency food bars they're lemon flavor and there's a total of six bars. Each bar is 400 uh, calories for a total of 3,600 calories. Also in the front here, I have my cooking stove. I can simply put this together. It's um, small enough that I could actually put it in my back pocket, as you see. So, right there. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in here. Really briefly, pull this drawstring here. 
and sit everything back in here. We're gonna close this flap here, over. And in the back here, there's another pocket. And inside this pocket, this is where people who can carry a firearm can easily reach in here and carry, okay? If you can't carry a firearm, there's various other uh, things that you can put in here for your protection and so forth. I also uh, carry um, some paracord off of the side. This bag has some molly rings on the side, molly on the back. I also have an S beaner to hold that onto. I, uh, the paracord I carry on the outside is different from the paracord that I carry inside. So that's pretty much it when it comes to um, my bag and the contents that are in here. And once again, if I don't have my bike with me and I'm just walking or just out and about in my vehicle, the contents may uh, change by adding or subtracting. And because I have other uh, modes of transportation that can house a lot more um, products that I may um, have to have access to. Thank you. I appreciate you taking the time to check this out. Let's now go over to part two. We're going to discuss what I carry in my bike.